welcome to my world. Welcome to my world. This is Let's See. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, thank you so much for dropping by and checking me out and clicking on my link. We're going to do another little mini organization project. Recently posted an internet picture of a 12-pack wrapped in Christmas paper to hide all your bags. Every household, or almost every household, has a drawer of bags or a pile of bags everywhere, and you just don't know what to do with them. And I came across on Pinterest that picture wrapped in wrapping paper to house all the bags. I'm not going to wrap mine. I'm not fancy or anything like that. And we're going to get my bags housed so they're put away. Because they ended up all over my little unit that I created to store things in my kitchen that I need to keep my kitchen running smoothly that we just recently did an organization video on. If you like decluttering and organization videos, check out the Clean With Me playlist down below. If you're new, definitely smash on that subscribe word. I'm going to turn the camera around. We're going to make this little unit here for all my bags and hopefully keep them contained so they're not thrown up all over the place. Let's get started. You'll need a 12 pack for this project duct tape and scissors to so move my napkins out of the way. There are some sodas in this 12 pack, but we can easily take care of that. I have a bin here from Dollar Tree. Big fan of the Dollar Tree. Check out our Dollar Tree haul playlist down below. I'm gonna put the sodas away that are left. I normally do this, but I get lazy and I procrastinate like everybody else. And we're going to take up the end and cut an opening in this 12-pack box. We've got a huge bag of bags. New York State doesn't allow bags at the supermarket anymore. Just restaurants they have them for. So I have some bags from the restaurants, and then I have bags from the backpack program. Check out the Food Pantry Hall playlist. It includes all of the free food that we get from the either the community, the school, or the pantry. If you like that kind of thing, check it out. Now that soda's put away. Just your average box here. Not sure why there was a pencil in it. What's left of one. And we're gonna tape up the end here. Duct tape is from a Dollar Tree. If you buy the Dollar Tree duct tape, for things, the black one is the best from using different types of duct tape for different projects. Before I got my new uh, stand for the phone, I had to use the duct tape on my old stand in MacGyver. It really kept the stand going until I could get a new one, which I got for my birthday last year from my husband. Now I'm just going to tape it up. We do giveaways every 100 subscribers. We give away gift cards. Now, it's not going to be the prettiest, but it's going to be put away or it's not going to be seen. And they can just pull the bags out. The giveaways are gift cards, $10 amounts. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. Wasn't even thinking about the handle here. So what we're going to do is just cut an opening with the handle rather than damaging the box from the side there. Completely forgot about that. I think that's a good opening. 
we're going to take our bags. I even save the bread bags for smaller things. Sometimes I give them to my neighbor who walks his dog. So he has them. We're discarding the dog's business after they've gone. These are these big bags. I use them for everything. They're from the backpack program. For the giveaways, you need to be subscribed in the United States residents. If you're new, comment in order to qualify and please be kind. We're a friendly community. Our newsletter will be out shortly. You can email me, contribute to yahoo.com. We have a bunch of playlists down below. If you click on all other, you can scroll until you find a playlist that you're interested in, as well as all of our social sites. We have a Facebook page and group. Feel free to like and join. I also do photography if you like that kind of thing. It's, I do nature photography and I do uh, sunsets. Whenever I see the deer or a bird or squirrel or a chipmunk, I like to photograph them. Check out the Facebook page for Suzanne Scene Photography. The link is provided below. Email is always in the description box. I save our bags from the food pantry. We usually just use our store bags, but sometimes they put things in plastic bags and we keep them for the garbage cans. So all the bags get used. When my kids go swimming, I put a wet bag in our backpack so our wets go in it. Or when we go to the beach, we use it because it's mostly take your trash in, take your trash out type of place. That's a recycled Ziploc bag. I'll put that in here too. All the bags are going to be stored away. If you have contact paper from the Dollar Tree, just stick it behind. You can also uh, decorate your box with this. Perfect. And I can fit a lot more bags in here. And the bags are not going to be shoved all over my little shelving unit. I can pull out a bag as needed. My husband sometimes likes to look through all the bags. And this is just picking up one or the first one there. I don't understand why he's got to shop for the bag within the bags before he grabs the one that he wants. But that's what he does. And then they end up all over the floor. But this is going to keep them from being all over my shelves. Let's go see if we can put it on our shelf in the kitchen from the little unit that I just recently organized and I like to try to keep things organized to keep my kitchen running smoothly. This is what the box looks like. It's just a regular ginger ale 12 pack. All the bags are tucked in nicely. Use the Dollar Tree duct tape to tape that in. Check out our clean with me playlist down below for all our cleaning routines, laundry routines, and decluttering and organization videos. I think this is going to work nicely in the little area that I recently cleaned. If I can't put it lengthwise, I'll put it vertical rather than horizontal. We'll see when we go in there. Let's go on in. And just another quick look. Let me put all the bags in there. Just a basic Schweppes box. We put the cans in a bin on the pantry shelves. And I use the Dollar Tree duct tape. It looks like I'm going to get a new one soon. And the scissors, they also came from the Dollar Tree. Don't forget to check out the Dollar Tree haul playlist. I'm not sure where this is going to go. It's probably not going to fit under there. I wanted to put it in here on the shelves. I could tuck it. Right here and move the oil. A different side and that way it's handy but out of the way so we're going to just put it right up against the shelf there until i can find a better place for it for the next part of the video we're going to take care of these oranges i saw somebody peel all their oranges break them apart and freeze them on a sheet and then bag them in a ziploc bag they froze them for about an hour 
And that way, whenever someone wanted some oranges, to so just pull them out of the Ziploc bag. And you want to save money wherever you can. So I'm just going to break apart all of these oranges, freeze them for about an hour, and then put, put them in a Ziploc bag. And I'll post a picture in the community later of them in a Ziploc bag. That's all you do. I'm going to break them all apart. And you're going to put them into the pan onto a sheet. Only freeze them for about an hour, bag them, and put them back in the freezer. And I hear they taste delicious, sweet like candy that way. That way you're saving money and not wasting your clementines. I'm also going to save my orange scraps and put them in a jar with vinegar for a homemade cleaner. I do use homemade cleaner from time to time, not very often. My husband doesn't like the smell of vinegar. So I do like to give it a nice scent with orange peels. I also use my lemons right down to the peel when I have them. Lemons are a great source of scouring tool for cleaning. Just continue breaking them apart. And then you're going to cover it with foil. You don't need to spray it, no parchment paper or anything. And then you're saving on your oranges or clementines. And then put them in the Ziploc bag, label it, and date it. Let's cover. And then freeze. And just put them away. She moved them out of the cookie sheet, the woman. And into a bag so they were easily retrieved instead of frozen together in a clump. And she said, for an hour. That is it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today with a freezer tip and an organization tip. By using what you already have, reducing the cost of waste going out your door and saving money. If you're new, look for that subscribe button and smash on it. The giveaways are listed down below. We're no longer doing the five items price pack. We're just going to be doing a giveaway of a gift card every now and then. And every 100 subscribers need to be subscribed to the United States residents. We're not responsible for lost or stolen prizes by mail. If you're new, you need to comment in order to qualify. The social sites are listed down below, as well as all of our playlists. And the email is contributes1268 at yahoo.com. For some reason, you didn't get the newsletter and you'd like it, let me know and I'll get it to you right away. Or if you would just like to receive it or opt out, let me know that you no longer want it so I know not to send it to you. Have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching.